Hello everyone, and welcome to The Dredge, episode 2 of The Drafting Challenge. If you don't know what The Drafting Challenge is, basically I save up 1 million blood points, and then once I get to 1 million blood points, I prestige and try to win a game with a 3k or more. I mean, I try to win two games with a 3k or more with the random perks I get from the blood whip. If you ever played Magic or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or anything, any card game like that, where you buy packs and try to build a deck, that's kind of where I got the inspiration from for this challenge. And unfortunately, this challenge might be gone soon, but that's okay. Um, so, we're just going to Prestige, and normally, this episode 2 right now would be my level 50, but since I had a bunch of banked up blood points... I was able to get to level 50 immediately, and sometimes I just like to do that. It saves me having to do an episode sometimes, but let's, uh, let's get right into it. Whoops. I think I threw, threw the ball in this one, or the perks just weren't that great. Maybe if I went a lot more heavy, heavily or something. I was kind of hoping to do some sort of totem build, because I, I was getting Undying and Retribution and I had Max out Thrill of the Hunt. I really, like, if I had Haunted Grounds, that would have been perfect, but I did not get that. The solution might be helpful, I guess. I don't think Thrill of the Hunt's gonna do anything here. I think it'll just prevent them from basically doing blessings. Maybe I can run a dying and see if they try to go for totems at all. Nah, maybe I need to scratch the totem idea. Maybe run pop in combination with barbecue and chili. This is my chase helper. And I guess demand switch. I think that's the best I could. No, demand switch would be counterproductive. I think because 
If I get the pop, I can't get the pop if they're on the gym, no. Maybe Gearhead's the best way to go. This will help me locate them. As long as I get that lost health state, that is. Yeah, this is tough. This is a tough one. Maybe Scourge would get to pain? Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this build. I was thinking Dead Man Switch, but then that's kind of hard to pop. And I was thinking Scourge Hook, get the pain, but I'm not sure I really want to focus on Scourge Hooks. And I was gonna try to do that totem build, but it's not gonna be very strong without Haunted Grounds, at the very least. So, yep, this is the build I'm going, let's go. Okay. Hopefully I'm in the game right now. Yep. You do you spawn right there, they're gonna spawn at that corner of the map, that corner, or that corner. <laughs> you literally just saw them. <laughs> Okay. I don't think I'm getting the hang of that just yet, but we'll see. I might have to break that pallet. I guess I'll break it, it's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Went a little bit way too far over there. I could make basement, but I think this is the best way. dropped him so I could have gotten that pop off so I could have this pop for something else but you know getting that free down was too strong anyway Tunnel this guy, this is good stuff. These dragon for all this guy. And he does not appear. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There's an injured person at that corner of the map. This was touched, so I'm gonna kick it again. Unfortunately, 
that means Leon is dead. He went a little bit too hard on one gen. He paid the price for it. I shouldn't be like being so like passive aggressive. Oh look, they completed it. Again. But oh, it's over here. I get this hit. Where do you think you're going? Did Kate like run the runaway? No. And she's going for the save. Tiny bit annoying. But if you know how to like jiggle like this, I don't know if I did it really well, but you can use boiled over in your favor, basically. But hey, not bad for my first game on the first day I played. Like this is just the same day as the first episode. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> I hate how you got that little graphic there, that's kind of really weird. Oh well, GG's, and on to the next. This orange man. Oh. Hey, I saw you do that. I know you're looking at me right now. I'm so good. <laughs> Predicted. The done was so fast. If I somehow, uh, I don't know. I Well, you're 
are willing to bolt it now? That's what I did. It moved that fucking shack of all places. <laughs> I love disillusion. <laughs> it's so weird that you can just do that and you get away with it. I thought they were locked, but obviously they would be going red or something. Some bullshit like that. Mm. I think at this point camping here- uh, 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 there goes the save. I just wanted someone else to play. I could just totally grab out then. He purposely ran into it for whatever reason. No, no reason. Ah! And they probably think I'm pretty tunnel vision. Trade right now is for that. Bill is injured right here. Not willing to make the trade. Worth it. I basically got two trades there, which is amazing. A good play on them. Yeah. Yeah. That pallet's gonna break, so no matter what happens here, it's a win for me. They basically traded three hooks to keep the uh, to keep the uh, the kate alive. What did they mean? <laughs> and she might die anyway. Keep her 
down on the ground for now. Just going on the other side of the map, which is completely fine. Okay. Keep going straight or using the zoom? Yeah. Since I went that way, keep continuing to use that loop would have been way better. Oh, the solution ran out. Oh well. I have bloodlust though. I need to go over and destroy that tower. get mad at those points anymore because that was like a lot of time wasted for what reason to be exact. I love this power dude. Now I know where Bill's at so that was really dumb. If I took the time to hook, uh, if I took the time to hook, what's her name, Michaela, then I would not know where Bill was after he flashed that in me. So this is way better play for me. He could have gotten hatch if he just let it go, but you know what? I respect the old crews of the Yep, and there's a hook right here that I can put her on. I feel bad because they brought that, but I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do a YouTube series and I don't normally look at the offer until that much. But like, yeah, that was a really good game. <laughs> I know like I tunneled that, uh, I think this was the Kate, right? Or no, the Yui. I was confusing the two. The Yui was, uh, was interesting. No one was running D-Strike, but there was one, two dead hearts. But I didn't mind the dead hearts all too much. I and like I'm starting to get kind of the gist of what to do with this power of loops, but kind of not really as well. But yeah, I mean, I remember like when I was playing Sudoku, I was trying to play Sudoku like I'm playing Dredge right now, <laughs> and I don't know, it's it's just so weird, I guess. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy.